EastEnders latest update. Star Natalie Cassidy shares sweet snap of rarely seen mini-me daughter. George begs Anna to keep quiet. Star loses a stone by ditching one thing from her diet after menopause. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. After watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. EastEnders star Natalie Cassidy shares sweet snap of rarely seen mini-me daughter. Natalie Cassidy, who has played Sumia Fowler in BBC soap EastEnders on and off since 1993, shared a snap with her eldest daughter and lookalike Eliza. EastEnders star Natalie Cassidy has shared a snap of eldest daughter Eliza, who has been dubbed the soap actress Mini-Me. Natalie shared images from preparations for a friend's wedding with youngest daughter Joni, getting dressed in a white dress as a bridesmaid, as well as her eldest daughter smiling alongside Natalie's fiancé Mark Humphreys in a selfie taken outside the church. 12-year-old Eliza, whom Natalie shares with ex-partner Adam Cottrell, was seen beaming in a selfie alongside Mark. Mark and Natalie have been together for nine years and got engaged in 2015, before they welcomed daughter Joni in August 2016. Sharing snaps from the preparation for her friend's wedding, soap actress Natalie captioned the snap of her daughter and future husband Mark as she wrote, the best daddy ever. In another snap soap actress Natalie, who often sports no makeup for her on-screen BBC character, looked totally different as she spoke to fans on an Instagram story. The actress showed off the results of her spray tan and manicure ahead of the wedding as she joked, only been sat in the garden for five minutes, look at the color of me, she added, joking, I've had a spray tan, had my nails done, let's get to the wedding. Last month, Natalie celebrated a milestone birthday as she turned 40. Whilst she celebrated with a birthday bash with EastEnders, castmates and friends, Natalie also revealed a hilarious birthday blunder to friends. In a video posted on Instagram, Natalie told her 276,000 followers she had received birthday wishes from her sister-in-law's friend. But the card read, Happy 50th, much to the star's die appointment. She explained, So a lot of you might know I turned 40 at the weekend. It was very, very good. I've had an amazing, amazing time with all my nearest and dearest. I can't thank everybody enough, they know that anyway, but I wanted to show you this because this really topped it off. I mean, when I opened the happy 50th card, I did think. Well, I don't know what I thought, Natalie continued as she held up the card to the camera. But it was from my sister-in-law's lovely friend Saul. So Sally, you made it, you made it my best best card of the weekend and I shall be putting it away and whacking it up in 10 years," Natalie joked. Finally she quipped, mind you, you'll probably send a 61 then, but yeah, I really appreciated it. You must have thought I looked very, very young for 50 let's be honest. Cheers. EastEnders spoiler. George begs Anna to keep quiet. George struggles after what he learned last week, and he goes in search of further answers. He tries his best to cover when Elaine asks questions, but his lies are later uncovered. Elaine and Anna both confront George, demanding answers. George tells Anna the truth about Rose, but he asks her to keep it a secret from Jinna, otherwise history could repeat itself. Meanwhile, amid the preparations for the funeral, Billy shares his disgust with Honey and Jay over the way the Mitchell family treated Lola over the years. Jay heads to the Vic and drowns his sorrows, sparking concern from Gina and Linda. Outside the funeral parlor, Honey encourages Billy to say a final goodbye to Lola. Elsewhere, Finlay threatens to call the police over Vinny cutting the brakes. Also today, Kathy is furious when Rocky's pet bird bites a hole in her funeral outfit. EastEnders reveals Lola Pierce Brown's emotional funeral in 66 new spoiler pictures. EastEnders star loses a stone by ditching one thing from her diet after menopause. 
Tamsin Althwaite is now virtually alcohol-free after suffering from the effects of drinking wine during the menopause. EastEnders actress Tamsin Althwaite has revealed that she's lost a stone in weight after ditching one thing from her diet. The 52-year-old opened up that she made a big lifestyle change when she was on BBC endurance show Feel the Fear. The mum of two is now virtually alcohol-free after suffering from the effects of drinking wine during the menopause and says doing this has given her a new lease of life. Speaking about her decision to quit the booze, she said, Let's just say I put on a lot of weight when I hit the menopause, over a stone. I've never been one to diet, but when I quit drinking, I lost the stone I'd put on and craved goodness like fresh salads and juices. Tamsin decided to quit booze for six months after Feel the Fear, explaining she'd become a lightweight during the menopause. She told Closer magazine, it hit me I couldn't drink like I used to and decided the best thing for me was to abstain. I took a break last year for six months. I felt amazing. Kamsen admitted that she now only has two drinks max once in a while, sharing that she and her partner Tom Child are both more mindful of alcohol. The actress has expressed her gratitude towards her boyfriend Tom, who she has described as being a dream stepdad to her two children and the pair have been together for five years. Paying tribute to her partner in a series of posts on Twitter, Tamsin told her followers Tom was a dream stepdad. She wrote, Deep down, they know he is kind, he cares and loves them deeply, and I know how lucky I am to parent gratitude. The couple began dating in 2017 and celebrated their fourth anniversary in November last year, as documented on Instagram. The Mel Owen actress wrote in a post at the time, If it all ended tomorrow, I would be thankful and grateful, and I know you would too. Yet what we have is a unique and beautiful low Thanks for watching these videos. Please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.